Hi, welcome back here, me Alexandra, and I'm back here again in Sunderland. I'm at some more burnt help. Now, I'm going to be the first to admit, my photographs from the last shoot here, they weren't that great, were they? I mean, I was a little bit too far away, but today I plan on getting a little bit closer and putting in a little bit of extra hard work. Now, I watched the YouTube video on the subject, and I'm now an expert, so... <laughs> oh good. No. Um, in all seriousness, I've done burnt photography here like 10 years ago, quite a bit, and um, I know how to do it, you know, just put it all into practice again and get back into the groove, but um, I've come prepared. I've got a 700 gram bag of mixed wild bird food. Right, so yeah, I'm going to go out and find, look for a nice perch. I want one that's covered in moss. Ideally, I think you can see it's quite a popular bird breeding station here in Sandringham. Um, it's quite well known. Quite a lot of people come here. Most of them just come here to look at the birds, but I'm here to photograph them. And right now, I'm looking on the ground for a nice perch. I want a large, heavy looking moth laden <laughs> branch. whether I'm going to find one because I should be able to quite easily out here. Really, really struggling to find a nice perch. I'm very young. I could be here all day looking for a perch. on a fairly high ISO, ISO 1250. I've not been on that high an ISO in years. But I know that after the other day shoot me, this camera can handle it. We're going to get some cracking shots here today. That perch is looking really good. And it's only about uh, six feet away from me, so I'm a lot more closer than I were. Uh, I mean, I was about ten feet away from the bird. You need to be a lot closer, especially with just a 300 millimeter lens. Oh. Them cold tips are adorable. I love them, they're so cute. They're very, very energetic. Very quick there. The blue tips as well, all the tips are quite skittish really. But yeah, I realised on my last shoot here that um, I probably didn't take it. I probably didn't get the photo that I wanted. Yeah, I probably didn't get the photos I wanted because I wasn't close enough and um, you need to be quite close to birds. But you can't just walk up to them, you know, you have to let them come to you, you have to entice them in. Make it make it inviting for them, you know, offer them food and water. They haven't got any water with me, but someone fills a water bottle up, so they've got plenty of water there. And they've now got plenty of food. There's, um, there's a bag of peanuts hanging up there peanuts in the cage and that's really it. There's no spirit ball like there were at the weekend. I should have bought them really but I didn't really think about it. I wanted to get some pellets but they didn't have any in the shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in 
and out like a bullet. So far yet, no luck, but um, this is time. Plenty of time. <clears throat> I know that when I get the shot, it's going to look pretty cool. It's going to look lovely. Mm. 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 There we are, just like that. I've got a lovely blue tip. Oh. No. Oh, that blue tip, that was perfect. I'm just the right difference now. I mean, on the long end of my 300mm. Yeah, not a spark lens at all. It's really slow, actually. It's yeah, like a 5 point, I think, to um, 6.4. No, I think it's 45 to 5.6. Five point six. The birds don't quite know what to do because I move their peanuts. I'll put them on the floor and they're a little bit confused, but they, they'll come down eventually. They're all up in the branch at the moment. I'm going to get moving. I know I've got one clacking blue tip shot, so I'm happy. I'm happy if I go home just on that, but um, I know there's more here. Yeah, come down and eat it then, you fucker. I am getting some cracking images from these birds. I forgot how much fun it is. I'm really enjoying it. it I mean, there's so much going on. I think there's a lot of mating going on at the moment with the pigeons. Um, and for images, I'm sure it's so much, I mean, the birds have got used to that perch now, I mean, they're, they're landing on it, I'm not even taking photos anymore, I'm just watching them. Oh. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this bird shot, I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely fantastic. I know landscape photographers rave on about getting the landscape image and being out there in the landscape, but for me, I probably get that with wildlife and bug toppy. Although, from my YouTube channel, you would never know that. You wouldn't know that because I've never done wildlife photography on my channel. And, um, In the past, I've done a lot, you know. Oh, gosh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, in the past, I've done quite a bit of wildlife property. And, oh. I mean, when I had my Canon 350D, I had to come down here a lot. And I used to do go to Blakely Point, where the seawolf can be found. Yeah, the image of today are much more better, more, I'm, I'm a lot closer. Like I say, I'm now about five feet away from them. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with the images today. Um and I hope you like them. Well give me a thumbs up if you like them. Let me know in the comments if you like them. And if you haven't subscribed already, I do do more than self-portrait, honestly, but um, self-portraits are my thing. But I do like 
doing it to other Jonathan Tuckby, you know, World Life Landscape Fungi. I love fungi, but I haven't done any for, I haven't done any last year. The year before I'd done a whole video on it, but yeah, I was a bit lazy last year. I wasn't busy, I wasn't lazy, I was working hard. But yeah, I do do other Jonathan Tuckby now and again, so if you haven't subscribed, please feel free. And um, hopefully, you'll join me in my next video, which who knows what that'll be. It could be anything, couldn't it? Until next time, love you a lot. Mwah. Bye. Oh, yeah.